Welcome back to the No More Lies 2012 YouTube channel where we are putting off the lie AYE and embracing who we really are. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to dispel the myth of hair growth. I am going to dispel the myth of hair growth. I've been seeing on my comment on comments on my videos uh, saying that oh I have long hair because of genetics. People only get long hair with good genetics and genes and genetics and genes and genetics. But I'm here to tell you that having long hair has absolutely zip. Okay, it has nothing to do with genetics it has nothing to do with your genes and i'm going to tell you why and before you go into that comment section and try to say yes it do yes it do because this and this and that and i'm gonna just keep watching the video just keep watching the video okay so let's talk about hair growth specifically hair growth only occurs at the roots okay hair growth only occurs at the roots okay and if you've done any research about hair growth and read what dermatologists and other experts have said about hair growth hair grows at the at about six inches of hair in a year you can get about six inches of hair growth in a year okay on the average person should be able to get that much however that's the only place where genetics will fall into okay is about how much of that six inches of hair growth that you will be able to get in a year okay that's where your genetics come in okay so for example if i if i measure my hair if i if i'm tracking my hair growth which i do during a six month protective style challenge then i would know that my hair grows about two to three inches in the in the uh, in a six month period so about four to six inches in a year right but if I am doing the absolute most with my hair, if I'm not taking care of it, if I'm you know, not doing the things that I need to do in order to maintain the hair on my head, then that four to six inches of hair doesn't get me anywhere. Okay, because my hair care practices will lead to breakage, will lead to losing hair, damaged hair, and the four to six inches that I might have got in a year is not gonna help me get to the long hair because I'm losing as much hair as you know, as I'm growing. So how if, you know, if I get four inches of hair in a year, how is that helping me get long hair if I'm not taking care of my hair, if I'm, you know, doing the most with my hair and not taking care of the length? So tell me that. You can write that in the comments. Tell me in the comments, how does 46 inches of hair growth help me get long hair if I'm not doing what I need to do to take care of this, okay? Because if I'm growing the hair, if I grow the hair, I have to retain the hair on my head. So if I'm not retaining the hair on my head, then tell me how the hair grows, how genetics is playing a part in me having long hair. Tell me that. Tell me that right now in the comments. Tell me that. And if you can't tell me, it's because it makes absolute no sense. It makes, it makes absolutely no sense sense whatsoever to say that oh genetics is making me have long hair genetics is making this person have long hair well let's talk about it let's talk about it so let's talk about the other end the lower end of the spectrum let's say your hair only grows two inches in a year let's just i'm just gonna just say two inches if you are doing the things that you need to do to retain most of those two inches in the year then guess what? You're gonna have more success than somebody who's growing six inches of hair and losing about four inches a year because they're not taking care of your hair, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind. Yes, you know, genes or your DNA science, I, I like to say science. In my ebook, I talk about the science of hair growth. Yes, science may play a role in how much of the six inches of hair growth that you may get. Maybe you get two, maybe you get four, maybe you get the full six in a year. But it is the art of hair growth, the art that you are able to do with your hair that's going to make you keep most of that on your head. Okay, so if you are doing lint retention tips, if you are taking care of your body, if you are preventing your hair from getting breakage, if you're taking, if you're keeping your hair moisturized, a whole lot of other things, if you are doing those things, then that is what's going to play a part in you actually having the long hair because you're, yes, you're growing it out, but you're also doing what you need to do on the length of the hair to keep what's growing on your head okay keep that in mind what you do on the outside of your hair the length of your hair that is what's going to help you keep what is on top of your head what you're growing from the roots okay so let me just give a brief recap so again science plays a part in you getting 
the six inches of hair growth, right? You Maybe you'll get four, maybe you'll get two or whatever it is. Science has something to do with that. Not only does science play a role in that, but yes, having you know good health, making sure your health is okay, making sure that you're taking any supplements that you're supposed to take, you have a good diet. A lot of those things help on the science part for your hair growth, right? But it's the art, it's the art of the hair growth, the art of retaining length, that's going to keep the inches that you're growing from the roots on the length of your hair, okay? So again, if you're doing tips to retain length, if you're preventing breakage, you're avoiding harsh hair care practices, and you're engaging in healthy hair care practices, then all those things together, all of them work together in order to have the ultimate goal, the ultimate goal of having long hair, okay? So again, yes, jeans, you know, yes, they are there. Everybody has genetics. Everybody has science that's playing a part in their hair growth. But if the person who grows fast, fast hair growth is doing all the things to not keep the hair on their head, then what is the, the genetics is not doing it. It's not doing it for them. It's not. But if they are growing their hair fast, if they have like the genetics that, you know, they get faster hair growth and they're doing the things to keep the hair on their head, then that's the things that they're doing to keep the hair on their head, on their head, then that is what's contributing to actually having the long hair, okay? So hair growth and hair length are two different things. Hair growth and hair length are two different things. Yes, you, everybody gets the hair growth, but not everybody gets the hair length. The hair length comes from what you are able to do with your hair as it is growing because it, your hair is already naturally growing okay so i just want to leave you with that for today's video if you like the discussion if you like what i said today in this video then you will love what i mentioned in my ebook in my ebook i talk about the science of hair growth all the things that contributes to the science of your hair growing and what you can do to maximize the science part i talk about the art of hair growth things that you can do personally to help facilitate the hair growth i talk about how to prevent breakage i'll talk about the harsh hair care practices that you may be doing with your hair i also talk about the healthy hair care practices that you can be doing as well as of course tips to retain lint which is so important so if that is something that you see interesting then please click the link in my description box to get your copy of my ebook the ultimate guide to achieving long natural hair and if you look in the description if you look in the description box you will see a discount code that you can use just for tuning into this video so if there's any other topics that you wanted me to talk about in my from my ebook if you would like me to do a video on it then please leave a comment in the description box leave a comment in the description box below and i'll be sure to put out a video for you if you're interested in having a live discussion where we can go live i am happy to do that as well so uh, thank y'all for watching this video and i will see y'all in the next one